All right, today I have a Samsung, a Samsung dryer, and I'm gonna show you how to quickly dry your clothes in a Samsung, Samsung dryer. But before we get started, could you give me a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel? I'll appreciate it tremendously. Only if the video is helpful for you. All right, thanks a lot. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to show you the quick dry function to rapidly dry your clothes in a Samsung dryer. So let me go ahead and go down here and I'm gonna go ahead and get the clothing that I just washed and I'm gonna throw these inside of the a washer machine, washing machine. All right, so I'm gonna have this and after I put that in here, I'm gonna make sure that the lid filter is clean. I actually cleaned that filter and the uh, secondary filter that my Samsung dryer has. And once I've done that, I put the clothes in here and you wanna make sure that the, uh, what the recommendation for drying the clothes is before you do the quick drying function because the quick drying function will use elevated heat in order to dry the clothes and it may shrink your clothes or may cause some damage. So you want to make sure that the clothing can actually handle the quick drying feature. So once with that said and now that I have the clothing inside of the dryer, you see it's inside of the dryer. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stick, step back and I'm going to go ahead and close the dryer. All right, and once I close the dryer, I'm gonna come up right here, and then I'm going to look for the power button. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, turn the power button on, and it is on. And so I'm gonna look at the selections. There's a lot of selections right here, but the first thing that I wanna do is come over here and get the right settings. As you can see, there's delicate, permanent press, sanitize, bedded, bedding, heavy duty, normal, time drive, air fluff, refresh, and wrinkle away. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come back up here to where it says quick dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this dial to quick dry. Once it's on quick dry, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna look at some of the other selections. They have a wrinkle prevent, and I use this just in case I'm not paying attention. The clothes will dry, and if the wrinkle prevent is on, it will tumble the clothes every uh, few minutes in, uh, to keep them from getting wrinkled. I like to keep it on right here, but if you don't have it on, your clothes may get wrinkled and They'll just be real close and you might have to do a wrinkle release option but either way so i have another quick drive function and then i'm going to come over here and you see right here i cannot select the dryness level but i can select other options and temperature is not one of them it actually dries the clothes at a relatively high temperature right here so that is not a selection this is what i was talking about that you may have some issues if your clothing is not built to handle a high temperature uh, dry. So once that is selected, it is going to automatically, automatically right here, this particular dryer is gonna automatically detect when it's dry. It just goes and sets it at 30 right here, but it will stop sooner if the clothes are dry faster, or maybe later if the clothes are dry. And so once that's all selected, I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna go ahead and press start. And then once I press start, the clothes will start drying and that's how you use the quick dry feature quick dry feature on a Samsung dryer. Hope this was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.